Welcome to the OneSignal WordPress setup demo. In this tutorial, we're going to add the OneSignal WordPress plugin to our WordPress website and send our first notifications. First thing we want to do is head over to OneSignal.com and sign in. If you don't have an account yet, go ahead and create one. It's free and no credit card required. If this is not your first app with OneSignal, select New App, name your app, select Web, and Next. Configure your site by selecting WordPress Plugin Integration. Add your site name, which is the default value you will see on notifications. This can be changed later. Your site URL. Now this must be your exact site origin, including HTTP or HTTPS, www or no www. And if you are not sure your exact site origin, just visit your website and copy paste the URL you see in the browser. I recommend uploading a default icon that is square 256 by 256 pixels. This will be used in the slide prompt and as your default icon for push notifications. If you don't have an icon now, that is fine. You can upload one later. If your site is HTTP or hosted by WordPress.com, you will need to select my site is not fully HTTPS and add a label. The label should be similar to your site name and will be used for the subdomain your users will subscribe under. For more details on this, see our HTTP versus HTTPS web push guide in our documentation. If you don't have an Apple developer account, you can skip adding your own Safari certificate. OneSignal automatically provides the necessary certificates to work with Safari browsers at no additional cost. If you already have your own Safari web push certificates, you may toggle on this option to upload it here. Let's head over to WordPress and add the OneSignal plugin. In the plugins page, click Add New and search for OneSignal. Click Install Now and activate the plugin. In the OneSignal plugin settings, under the Configuration tab Account Settings, copy paste the corresponding keys from the OneSignal.com dashboard into the plugin settings. If you selected My Site Is Not Fully HTTPS in the OneSignal.com dashboard, untoggle My Site Uses an HTTPS Connection and insert the label you used. You just need to copy paste the label, nothing else. Scroll down to the prompt settings and subscription bell. Toggle on the first three options here for now and press save. You should be all set. Head over to your website and you should see the OneSignal slide prompt and bell prompt appear. Allow push subscription through the OneSignal soft prompt and the browser prompt. You are now subscribed to push notifications. Head back to OneSignal.com to finish setup. Let's head to the Audience tab and we should see one user in our Subscribed Users segment. Click the All Users tab to view all the users as they start subscribing to your site's push notifications. Now let's send ourselves a message. Head over to Messages, input a title and message, then scroll down to Review and Send, then Send Message. You should see the push notification show up on the screen or in your notification center, which you can view by clicking the option on the top right corner of your Mac or bottom right corner of your Windows PC. Finally, let's send ourselves a push when we publish a post. Head over to your WordPress posts and select or create a post. On the right hand side, you should see a new meta box for the OneSignal push notifications. Select Send Notification on Post Publish whenever you want to send a push upon publishing your post. Select Customize Notification Content to set a unique title and or message to the push. Once you publish the post, you should see a new notification appear. Congratulations, you have successfully set up the OneSignal WordPress plugin. Please view our documentation for further resources on using OneSignal to the fullest. If you need help, our support team is available to assist through the OneSignal.com dashboard or documentation using the icon at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. My name is John, and thank you for choosing OneSignal.